Okay, working on the the water catchment system today a little bit. I have to go back to work tonight, so I did a little bit of work yesterday. I got one side of the spouting put up and the totes, the two 250 gallon totes, or 275, 275, I think, will go in the back. And that's where the water will be collected. Now, here's another thing that I ran into yesterday that I liked very well. They're not cheap, but when you're talking about your water, a little bit more investment would be well worth it. These little, these foam pads right here will act as a pre-filter. And what they do, they sit down in your gutter. See how they're shaped? They was, a uh, right there's a fall. They're, they're four feet long. They was $6 a piece. They're not cheap. They're not cheap, and you could probably make your own. But just... Uh, not enough time to do it, but that will kind of give you an idea that you may be able to make your own. And you can see how they're shaped. And they just fit in like this with the flat edge up. And any dirt, debris, leaves will catch here. Then you can get up here. A lot of them will probably wash over the side or blow off once the wind blows them. But no leaves or heavy debris well, should not shouldn't get into your system and then we'll have another filter going in before it goes into the tote and I'll show you that here in a bit but what I'm doing I'm just I'm placing all these down through here and until I get to the end and that's probably about all I'll get done this week and then next week um, I got the concrete to put in the, the stand in the back so then we'll work on it again next week but here in a second i'll show you those other filters okay here's a downspout filter i was telling you about now that'll right before it goes into the tote your uh your downspout will go into the top of this right here and you can see how that's kind of big so what you could do you could either put a piece of, of screen right there like a very fine screen or a piece of foam, like something similar to that, or like a, a air condition filter, like that material. You could cut a square to go in there, and then you could change those out whenever you want to, because it's got it like a seat in there where it'll set. So that should be a very, very clean system. Water going in into the water catchment system, and then about every couple of weeks or so and i'll look up the, the exact formula you add bleach to it to keep that water clean crystal clear probably a cup every couple of weeks or a cup a week something like that it don't take much and you don't want it very strong the the system that we have now is <laughs> off my pickup truck and what we do we we drive the truck back home filled up with water three quarters full anyway because that's a lot of weight and bring it up and you can see the the connection that i made i made this connection here works very well it's uh this was called a gator lock i got this at tractor supply and then i just downsized it all the way down to standard size water hose it's simple as that and when you when you latch it it locks into place and it won't come loose in it it won't leak once you when you open that up it stays fixed so what i can do i'll move this from tote to tote as it runs out or as one runs halfway down then i'll switch it over to the other tote and then i just simply feed it and then i think i've probably showed you this before gravity fed when I put this into the camper, kind of excuse the mess out here, breakfast mess. Right there, it goes into your water outlet, water inlet right here. Just opens up and, and from, well, you can see from here to there is uphill. You know, it, it feeds, I'll probably, uh, a good five gallon a minute, probably. Just guessing. Maybe quicker than that. And it's, I think it holds maybe 30 gallon. And then this camper will run, it'll run, 
it depends how many times you shower because because we go back home to our to our house and sometimes work around there and shower so if both of us shower um for two days here and run the water that's about as long as it lasts and you know 275 gallons that lasts a long time so we don't go crazy using the water we don't use a a water hose or anything like that but if you had two of these and they was completely topped off and every time you get a, a nice rain they're, they're going to stay pretty full that way you can use a lot more than what you normally do and also if you want to i've been looking into small pumps that'll build that'll like build up the pressure that way if we wanted to use a water hose and hook it hook up a little water hose because there's some things that'll eventually need done you know that building's nasty it needs cleaned off the the camper you know at least uh, once or twice a year it needs a good scrubbing because it gets nasty if you don't so that that extra water would be nice you know over 500 gallons of water for sure so so that's what we got in plans look at my yeti i had two of these weather vanes and didn't have anywhere to put them and uh my wife was like once you wait till you get the building up here and put it on top of there i said yeah that's a good idea so that's where we put it but anyway just a little update on our water catchment system and we'll catch you next time when we'll do the other side and start building on the back thanks for watching homestead hacks